lovelies! Welcome back. If you are new to my channel and you've never seen my face before, hi! Welcome! My name is Yasmin. Thank you so much for being here. I really, really do appreciate it. And the fun fact for this video is that I've been really into bubbly, sparkling, like, flavored water. And specifically this brand right here, it's called a Clear American. It's a really, really affordable. I get it at Walmart for like a few cents and it's a lot of water, but I love the flavor and I love like the bubbliness of it because it's kind of like drinking a soda, sort of, but it's really good and it's water. So I love it. Um, I specifically like the lemon and the lime flavored. It can be kind of difficult for you to find the good flavors at Walmart. So you just really have to be there on a good day. So whenever they do stock up on the lemon or the lime ones, I usually stock up a lot, but those are the best ones. So. That's a fun fact for this video. So for this video, I'm going to be doing a kind of like a two day type of thing. It won't be two days for you guys. It'll be like, you know, a few minutes for you guys. But um, I don't like to do multiple makeup looks in one day only because I feel like it's a little too rough on my eyes. So um, today I'll just be working on the um, Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palettes and I'm only going to be doing two days. So one day for each palette, only because I didn't get the other two. I saw the Armed and Gorgeous palette, but they didn't have it in stock. And then that other one, I don't know what it's called, but it has a lot of like burgundy shades in it, like a lot of them. And I kind of already have a lot of palettes that have a lot of burgundy shades in it. And I play with burgundy a lot, so I didn't want to get it. So I decided to get the Bling Block. Bling, <laughs> Bling Boss palette and the Dark Magic palette. So for today, I'm going to be playing with the Bling Boss palette. And I really like this one because I love purple. Purple is my favorite color. So I, when I saw this one, she had a lot of really purpley, mauve really pretty shades and gold in it. So I really wanted to try this one. And the, the Dark Magic palette looks really cool too. I like the blues in there. I think it's so, so pretty. And I, I, feel, I felt really inspired by that palette. But I just want to do this palette first. And then I'll go ahead and do the Dark Magic one tomorrow. We'll for you guys it'll be a few minutes but so today I'm gonna to be doing this palette there's a lot of controversy about these palettes saying that oh that they didn't change the formula that it's the same palette they just wanted to uh, stop the, the launch because of something, something I don't know I don't care I love Jaclyn Hill um, I've always loved her I love the you know I love the way she works with brands and she always creates the most beautiful items ever so I was super excited to get her palettes they are $15 each I didn't get like the whole collection thing I did purchase them at Ulta and the, these were just the ones that were available so I'm really excited about this so let's go ahead and open it up by the way if I'm a little too close or something to the camera I don't know I feel like it's off I've been having a really off morning. It Well, it's probably like 1 o'clock now by everything that I was trying to get done today. And my tripod broke and I had to find a new one. I had to find a way to fix it. But I had to bring up my old iPod, iPod I, tripod, but I had to fix it. And it's just, I was so close to not filming this video, but I'm going to do it for you guys. And I'm just happy that everything's out of the way. So let's go ahead and open this up. Sorry, I had to say that really quick. Let's go ahead and open this up. So it does come bubble wrapped. I did open it, but I haven't touched it. This is like the outside cart and I think it's super pretty. It has like a lot of like the purpley little sparkles in it to, so you can tell which palette it's about. So it's about purple. So I've got that one. I got the bubble wrap that I'm gonna save for Luna so she can play with it. And inside of the palette looks just the same as the box on the outside. So let's go ahead and open it up. And they do have a mirror, which is really cool. And these are the shades in the inside there. Aren't they really pretty? Let me get a little closer so you guys can see. I am pretty. I am not as inspired by this palette as I am by the Dark Magic palette, but I'm still going to try my best and play with what I can. But I really like them. I haven't touched anything, so I'm super excited to play with them. I don't want to do swatches, only because I'm not really a swatch type of gal. If you, if the majority of you do like swatches, let me know and I'll go ahead and do swatches from now on. But I'm just going to go ahead and just go straight into the palette. I've already done my eyebrows and I have primed my eyes with my concealer and everything. I cleaned up my eyebrows, so my eyes are ready to go. Um, if you guys have seen me for a while, you guys know that I like to do my eyes first and then I'll do my face afterwards, especially with these palettes. You'll never know what's going to happen. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, that was a very long introduction. Sorry about that. But um, I did zoom you guys in a little closer. Hopefully you guys can see my eyeballs, but I'm going to go ahead and start the uh, makeup process. I don't know why I had to say it like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this first shade called Hush Hush And I'm just gonna grab it on a little Morphe M330. It's a really soft blending brush, which I really like So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. A good amount goes onto the brush I don't know if you guys can see that but that was just a couple dips in the brush. It looks pretty good So I'm gonna go ahead and put that all over my lid here This is like a transition shade which 
Oh, by the way, I didn't uh, set my eyes, my eyes and my concealer. I don't really like to set it. I just like to leave it a little tacky just so the eyeshadows can grab on a little better. Hopefully that doesn't change the formula or anything. Okay, that color doesn't look too bad on my eyes as like a transition shade. I don't think it looks bad. So um, now I'm going to go in with this shade named Rockstar. This really pretty like maroony dark purple color. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's see. I'm going to grab another brush. I'm probably just going to use the same kind of brush that I'm, what is it? M330. Sorry. And I'm just going to swipe that all over the lid and the crease. So a lot of it did go onto the brush, which I'm, I'm super excited about. So let's go ahead and test it on our eyes and grab the little mirror. All right, so far those are really easy to blend. I really like how this is looking so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab like a clean blending brush. I'm gonna grab my E23 brush. Just kind of blend out these edges just so they don't look so crazy, but isn't that pretty? Like, okay. Okay, now I'm gonna um, add some concealer onto my lids so I can go in with the shimmer shade. I was gonna go into this color gem right here, which is like a bluish purplish shade but i feel like a lot of people have already done uh tutorials with this color so i think i'm gonna go in with this color pizzazz or either ballsy i'm not sure i'm gonna swatch them both on my hand and I'm, I'm gonna decide so here are both of the shades swatched here is pizzazz and here's ballsy i'm thinking about going with ballsy only because ballsy is super pretty it has like a little small like purple shimmer in it and I think it's super pretty. I usually do a lot of look, this, uh, looks with this color so I'm going to go ahead and put this color all over the lid. I'm going to grab some concealer for some grab a makeup wipe to wipe this off. By the way those shimmers really swatched nicely like they were so creamy so nice to swatch on my fingers so I can't wait to put it on my eyeball. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going to put some on the back of my hand here making sure that's completely dry. Yep. So I'm just like right there. And I'm gonna grab that same brush that I used to carve out my eyebrows. Actually, I'm just gonna use a different one. Maybe just this one. Yeah, I'm gonna use this other little flat brush here. I guess it's an equal tool brush, I don't know. I'm just gonna grab some concealer. Don't want too much here. Grab a little mirror, and I'm just gonna cut the Okay, now that that concealer's on there, I'm going to go in with Ballsy, which is right here. I'm just going to use my little ring finger here. Just put some on my finger, just like that. I'm just going to place it onto, I'm probably just going to grab a little more, actually. And just tap it onto where I put the concealer. I don't really like how it looks on my lid. I feel like it could be a lot shinier, so I'm going to grab a brush here. I'm probably just going to spray spray something on it. If it doesn't work, then I'm just going to have to go with another color on top of it. So let me try this again. Put some on my brush. Where's my spray? I'm just going to grab some Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and just spray it on this side, not that side. Okay, let's see if that works better. I think that looks better when I added the water onto it. You guys see that right here? Oh, I can see it now from far away. That looks really nice. Yeah, it looks better when I sprayed it. So I'm just going to do the same thing that I did the other eye. I'm just going to start with my finger. Just like the same thing. My little ring finger. The reason I use the ring finger specifically is because it has very... I don't add a lot of pressure onto my eyeball. So I'm just going to use that. Okay, now I'm going to go back into that Rockstar shade that we went into that we put all over our lid and our crease. And I'm going to add some more on the brush and just blend everything together. Now with my M433, I kind of want to darken this up a little tiny bit at the end. So I'm going to go in with Mystic or Mystique. It's like a really dark, uh, darker like plum shade. So I'm going to grab my M433 and just add a wee bit. And just Hot and blend. Now I'm gonna take a clean brush with no product on it and I'm just gonna blend out my edges again. Okay, now that's, that's on there. I'm gonna grab a makeup wipe and clean up all these 
<laughs> you know, grossness right here, that's not straight. So I'm gonna grab makeup wipe and just clean that up really quickly. All right, I think that's pretty good for the top. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop some liner lashes. Um, I don't know if I wanna show you guys first my face routine, only because if you've already seen my uh, full face with my favorites, it's the same kind of routine, except I'm gonna go in with, instead of the Maybelline, um, foundation and concealer. I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Superstay foundation. So I'm going to do all that really quick and then we'll finish up the eyes. Okay, so I have the rest of my face on. So let's go ahead and finish the eyes. Sorry, I just sprayed setting spray and I'm just making sure it's super dry. So I'm going to go ahead and use like this really small pencil brush. It is the Morphe M321 and I'm going to go ahead and start with Hush Hush on my bottom lash line here. Grab some. Now with the same brush, I'm going to go ahead and go into Rockstar, that really purpley magenta color. And I'm just going to go in with the eye here. Okay, now again with the same brush, I'm going to go in with Mystic or Mystique, and I'm just going to do it over on the outside, just right out here. I'm going to put this color. Now I'm going to grab this small little blending brush, and I'm going to take a little bit of Hush Hush and just blend that bottom lash line. Okay, now that that is on there, I'm going to go in with the shade Glitz and Glam, which is a really pretty shimmery shade. And I'm just going to, actually, I'm going to take Bling Bling, because that one's a little brighter, and just use this little, small little smudge brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it into my inner corners. Okay, now that is the eyes pretty much finished. So I'm going to go ahead and I already have um, some black liner on my top of my lash line. I'm ready for lashes, so I'm going to go ahead and pop those on really quick, and then pick a lip, and then we'll be right back. So that was the first look using the Vault Collection from Morphe and Jaclyn Hill and I used the Bling Boss palette. <laughs> I was going to say Bling Boss again. Bling Boss palette. I loved this palette. So I think my eyeshadow came out really, really nicely. They blended very nicely. I love the colors and I especially love obviously the concept of the colors because I love purple and I'm just living my purple, purple fantasy right now. I love it so much. So um, that was pretty much it for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, do the next one. The next palette will be Dark Magic, so that'll be me tomorrow, but it'll be for you in a few minutes. So, um, yeah, and then at the end of that one, I'll let you know about what I think about both the palettes and everything in, um, about the collection in general. So, um, yeah, let's go on to the next look. All right, it is now day two for me, but only a few seconds for you, and we're going to go ahead and jump into the next palette, which is Dark Magic. I actually feel so much more, I don't know, I don't know, I'm more into this palette than I was with the Bling Boss palette. I love the Bling Boss palette, but I feel like this one is, I don't know, the colors of it, I don't have anything with these colors. So I'm so excited. So the packaging is the same. The only thing that's different is like the little other glitter parts aren't purple. This time it's like a grayish bluish color. I'm not sure, maybe green, it looks like green. But let's go ahead and open it up and it's the same thing where it is wrapped in bubble wrap. This is the palette, same little design idea and here are the shadows and it also comes with the mirror and I love the colors in here like look at this guys I think that's so pretty and I already feel so inspired off of this palette and I'm so excited to get into this palette I already have an idea in mind I kind of want to do kind of like a halo cut crease type of moment I'm going to try anyway because I'm really digging this um really blue teal color and this really pretty silver so yeah let's go ahead and jump into it Okay, so I zoomed you in like I did with the last <laughs> tutorial. I feel like I like to watch tutorials when they're a little more up close and personal so I could really see how the shadows are working. But let's go ahead and jump into it. By the way, um, I watched Jacqueline Hill's tutorial on her dark magic palette and she did like a green smoky eye type of deal and I thought it was really pretty. But I found it interesting how she said that her palettes work a lot better once you set the eye. Um, once you add primer or concealer or whatever you use to prime your eyes before eyeshadow, which I thought was really interesting. So because I don't usually set my eyes, I just kind of go with it because I like my eyeshadows. I, I like the base, like the primer for my eyeshadows to be a little more tacky. But this time I did, um, I did my concealer as my eye primer, but I also uh, primed it with my setting powder. So I did prime and set them. So let's go ahead and jump into this pot. I'm gonna go straight in. I'm gonna go with shh, right here this little. Uh, little brown shade. I'm gonna use that as my transition shade. I'm just gonna grab the same uh, M330. Well, not the same, but I'm gonna grab M330. I'm gonna go ahead and blend that in. I'm so excited to use this palette. You guys have no idea. I was gonna originally do this one first, but I just wanted to get the purple one done, get it out of the way, and then just do this one right after. Okay, now I have a shh all over the eyes, and I think it looks really pretty. 
So I like the way that that looks and it blended out pretty nicely. So now I'm gonna go straight in and go in with the shade Busted here. I want this to be the really like really pop up color that's gonna go around and be, you know, kind of like, you guys see what I'm saying? Kind of like partner with the halo cut crease over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab another M330, packs up onto the brush. I hope this shade isn't patchy because it's so pretty. So I coated a good amount on the brush. I'm gonna dust some of it off just in case, but you know, this is what it looks like so far. So I'm gonna grab this little mirror here. I'm gonna go ahead and blend. So what I wanna do is kind of like blend back and forth windshield wiper motions, but I want to try and avoid the middle area here because that's where I'm gonna add a concealer and create that halo cut crease. So I'm gonna avoid that as much as possible. Maybe even tapping it outwards can help and then bring it around to this side and then doing the same thing I'm going to tap and bring it around If you get too much eyeshadow over here where you're supposed to cut the crease, it's okay because you're going to put concealer over it and it's going to be fine. But I think this is pretty much how I want it to look. So now I'm going to grab a clean little brush here. Actually, I'm going to grab the same brush that I applied with and add a little bit more of that and just kind of blend this part, kind of like the outer edges here. I know it's kind of looks a little crazy, but we're going to clean it up and everything. Um, let's go ahead and go jump into concealer. So I'm going to grab my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm gonna grab a little bit and put some on the back of my hand here. A little bit more. Okay, then I'm gonna grab the, actually I'm gonna grab a different brush. Actually, I'm gonna grab that same brush that I used to do my eyebrows. This is a Morphe M421 and I'm just gonna grab some concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that crease. So let's see, I'm gonna start by aligning my pupil here. Start it that way, and then I'm gonna go ahead and bring it out. I'm just gonna take my finger and kind of blend these edges out a little bit. All right, I know it looks like shit, but it always looks like shit before it gets better. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the shade that's supposed to go on my eyelid and I'm debating whether or not I should use my finger or if I should use a brush because yesterday when I did uh, the bling boss palette when I used a brush and had it and sprayed it with some sort of setting spray it looked a lot better so what am I doing that okay I'm gonna grab this little smudge brush right here and I'm gonna go into the shade power cut which is this really pretty silvery shade right here so I'm gonna go ahead and dip my brush in there Not as well as I wanted it to look, so I'm going to try it with my finger. I thought it was going to be a lot shinier than that. I'm just going to do the same thing to the other eye anyway. And I'll probably go on top of it with this other shimmery shade that's in here. This look is totally not coming out the way that I imagined it was going to come out, but we're just going to roll with it. So instead, I think I'm gonna just jump into the shade Diversion maybe and see how that looks instead because I don't really like how the shimmer is gonna come out. I thought it was gonna be a lot more blinding than it looks right now, but let's just try the other shade. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. I definitely not exactly what I pictured. I pictured this silver to be super blinding and like super bright but it's not like at all. So um, that's kind of sad. But I'm gonna go back in with the shade Busted right over here and just kind of blend those outer corners a little bit and add that blue because I feel like we lost it a little bit. So I'm gonna grab a pencil brush. You know what I think I wanna do? I think I wanna take this little glitter liner from NYX and just put it like out here on the very top of this halo cut crease just so I can give it a little something because I feel like it's like really dull and boring, so. I'm gonna go ahead and try that out. All right, that's kind of sort of how I wanted it to look. Kind of sort of. 
they're gonna look better once I have my liner and like do the bottom lashes and like have everything on. I think it'll look pretty good. So um, that's pretty much where I'm gonna stop at the top of my eyes there. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face makeup and uh, we'll go ahead and finish the eyes when I come back. Okay, so my face makeup is on. So let's go ahead and finish up these eyes. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this Morphe M408 and I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that first shade shh, <laughs> there. I'm gonna put it all over my lower lash line. All right, now with the same brush, I'm gonna go in with the shade Busted, which is that really pretty bluish turquoise color that we went in with all over our lid. I'm just gonna push that onto there. Okay, now I'm gonna take this really small little blending brush from Real Techniques and I'm gonna go back in with that shade Shh. <laughs> so <it's, laughs> I'm not shushing you guys. I feel like it's like, you know, I'm telling you to shush, but I'm not. But I'm gonna go ahead and take some and blend that lower lash line out. Okay, that's pretty much our lower lash line. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some black liner, add some lashes, and find a lip, and we'll wrap this video up. So that was it for this look using the Dark Magic palette from Jaclyn Hill X Morphe. This is actually my favorite palette. I actually really like the way my eyeshadow came out, and I like the idea that I put that, that silver liner on top. I think that really brightened the look up a little bit. But um, yeah, my final thoughts about these palettes, I think they are very nice palettes. I do agree that when you set the eyes with some sort of powder, I do think that they work a lot better compared to my other look that I did without setting the powder. But I really like the palettes. I think the color stories are really pretty. I love the idea. I love the mattes. The shimmers could be a lot brighter. I just thought, you know, Jaclyn Hill, you know, she loves the really bright highlight, the bright shimmers. And it's just, especially when I used the shade Power Cut, it wasn't as bright as I wanted it to be. So that was kind of disappointing, but I do love this palette and I definitely could see myself using both the palettes all over again and trying different looks. But um, yeah, those are pretty much my final thoughts and they're super affordable. They're $15 each palette and they come with a mirror. So, I mean, I don't see anything wrong with them. Some of them, I mean, just, it, it's just those shimmers in specific, but um, they were pretty easy to blend and I really like what I came up with. So let me know what you guys think down below. Do you guys like the eyeshadow looks I came up with? Which one was your favorite? Maybe if you guys want to see a tutorial on the other two palettes, I can try my best and get those two for you in case you guys want to see them. Or, you know, if you don't like it, you can also tell me that too. Like, I've, I've said this before about my channel. I'm not a makeup artist, okay? I'm pretty good at my face makeup, but I just started doing eyeshadow this year and I'm trying my very, very, very hardest for you guys. And I truly, truly mean that. I'm trying my best to create looks and to, you know, do my best on expressing, like I get an eyeshadow look in my head and it's, I'm trying my best to show it off on my eyes. I'm trying my very best and I hope you guys can see that. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this video. Like if you liked the video or if you liked eyeshadow palettes or, you know, eyeshadow tutorials in general, just let me know what you guys think down below. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave. I do post videos every Sunday at 10 a.m. And if you guys have any recommendations or any requests that you guys want to see certain products or types of videos, please let me know. I love to film videos that you guys want to see, not just what I think, you know, what you guys would want to see, but I want to know from you guys. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for me. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.